welcome back to another Muscle Grab Lucky Blocks Challenge. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, it is exciting times. We are T minus two weeks on leaving for uh, Yellowstone, and I cannot be as excited as I am about. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. Really, it is gonna be amazing. <laughs> so, what I'm doing here is, um, of course, getting ready for the mountains because I am from the plains. And uh, yeah, mountains, acclimation. All that jazz, necessary. So since I have no mountains here, I've been uh, hiking and walking a lot. And of course, uh, conditioning, getting some cardio in and that sort of thing. Um, trying to do this a little bit more often since I'm ramping up for vacation because a week from Thursday, got that a week from Thursday, I'm gone. And I'm so excited, oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, my beginning numbers are above me, and let's go ahead and get started. And uh, later on this episode, yeah, there will be stories. There will be lots of stories. Well, or at least one, that's for sure, because uh, I've, I've been to where I'm going on vacation a few times. And uh, yeah, we've had some fun close encounters. So everyone sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and enjoy <laughs> what we're about to do here. I've done cardio the last couple times times here. And while I do want to make sure that I get, you know, my heart rate up and stuff, um, I actually made my Fitbit goal last week. <laughs> like, over 10,000 steps every single day. So I'm going to stick with lower and upper because, um, yeah, I am tired. Okay, so we have lower block. And I have sand. Oh, my gosh, it's amazing. And actually 16 apples. <gasps> Planks! Okay, plank time 16. Perfect. All right, and that's one stack. That's brilliant. Okay, and let's see what the upper does. Ooh, ink sacks. Oh, that's brilliant, actually. And 19 apples. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, 19 apples. Overhead triceps extension. Three sets of 19. That is brilliant. All right, excellent. So we have planks. We have... <laughs> Planks, we have overhead triceps, and it's time to work out. Woohoo! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's done there. My core, oh my goodness. It is uh, really good right now. Very buzzing, nice, warm, tingly, all that good stuff <laughs> after workout. Oh, and it's getting dark. How lovely. Well, you know what? Let's put this book away here. You can see my numbers. And, uh, yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm totally down with the sand and the ink. And we have over two stacks now, which is amazing. Alrighty here. So let's pop these next ones. And, uh, well, first I'm going to sleep. All right, so I've slept. going to eat here because you don't want to exercise on an empty stomach. Just one that isn't too full. <laughs> All right here. So we have the lower blocks. <gasps> Of course, dirt. Amazing. And oh my gosh, 18 apples. This is so much better than the last time. Diagonal lunge. Three sets of 18 reps. That's a brilliant. Love it. All right. And then we have this. What do we get? Ooh, birch leaves. That's good. And 13 apples. That's below, but that's all right. Another overhead triceps extension. Oh my gosh. My poor little arms. <laughs> Okay, all right, so we're at triceps and diagonal lunges. Well, that'll be a good time. I'm actually kind of looking forward to that, so I'm going to work on that, and then I'll come back to you, and believe me, I've been thinking of stories to tell you all uh, once we get done with our exercises, because, man, Yellowstone, it's such an amazing place. I can't rave about it enough. <laughs> okay, seriously, one last exercise, and oh my gosh, my arms, they are really starting to burn. Burn, I say. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, my numbers are above me, as you can see. Uh, getting that, getting it done. We're getting it done, and it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> yeah, you see that? That's not cool. All right, we have our first sack of four here. Get those birch leaves out and everything like that. And oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. Whoo, that was a close one. Although I'm probably gonna have to do it again. My goodness. <laughs> All right, that's okay, just getting everything flowing here. Uh, let's see, we have a granite and 16 apples with a hamstring ball curl. Hamstring ball curl. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm be interested to see uh, exactly what that is. Hamstring ball curl, but at least we got 16 apples, so that's good news. 
and birch. We have a birch. <laughs> All right, with reverse push up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, reverse push-ups. Okay, there's only 11 of them. It's okay. It'll be all right. So we have 11 reverse push-ups. Uh, we have 16 of these hamstring ball curls. And yeah, I think, I think that'll be okay. And a good one to wrap up on because, you know, then I'm done. <laughs> and then I can go and uh, tell you some stories while I'm building up there. And so I am, yeah, very, very, very excited about that. I just can't wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, the numbers are right above me here, as you can see. Workout is done. I'm enjoying my shower, or I was. <laughs> and I love the water running. You should never leave the water running. Nope, nope, nope. So let's go ahead and take care of that, and then we'll see what we're going to do today. And of course, what should be the backdrop of my story? Now I could do that and do some that, or I could go up there and work on the buildings, because, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's just, you know, so much to do, so much to do, and oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to need another chest. There we go, perfect. Ooh, chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use some of this birch here. And, oh, there it is. Ha, huh? okay. We're going to make a chest. Because I need another chest. Okay, birch. Um, there's not really a whole lot of room here now, is it? Hmm. Put it here. Okay, excellent. So let's go ahead and take some of these books out. We'll do this, and I guess we'll keep them there. It's probably not the best place, but, you know, I figure that if you're in the shower, uh, you want to read a magazine, like, before you get... I don't know. It doesn't quite work the same now, does it? <laughs> oh, well, oh, well, that's all right. So we got to pick up this amazing stuff, and I will be putting that away, too. And we have <laughs> some emeralds. So let's go ahead and see what Eric has for us today. Eric, I'm going to bet you're going to give me wood. I want the right wood, though. And that's not the right wood. That's spruce. Although it's closer, Eric. It's, it's a lot closer. I really wanted dark oak. But I will take the spruce. I mean, that's, that's okay. Um, yeah, no. Uh, we're not going <laughs> to do that. But hey, good news is, we have six stacks of stuff right here. And that's amazing. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. So I got to figure out what I'm doing. And I could, I think what I'll do is I will finish up. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Okay. Hello, Pearl. Hi, Pearl. But I don't need you right now, Pearl. Sorry. Hi, Jessica. Yeah. Hello. Let's go ahead and get two of these. Because we are going to need to finish up the trimming around. And uh, yeah, so I am super excited to get that done because then that'll be one less thing for us to worry about and deal with. And then that will be done. And then maybe, just maybe at that point, I can focus more on like getting the roof on and, and such and such things like that. Now, I'm still carrying around these apples. It's probably not the wisest thing to do. So, um, yeah, I will be um, putting those back before I get started. So much birch. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and then we have sand now, which is amazing. We've got it, which is the first time we've got granite, so that's good. You never know what we could use for granite. There we go. There we go. Then we have leaves. And, yeah, we're just running out of our space. So we'll have to figure out something to do with that here. Oh, let me see. Cool beans. <laughs> okay, got everything put away. Everything's put away now. All right. Except the apples. So we're going to put the apples back here. Whoa. Well, that was, that was a little laggy. Okay, put the apples back here. We will come back. We'll come back for you guys. Because what I want to work on right now is uh, fill this up and finish up on the outside here. Because if I recall... We ended up all the way over here. 
Yep, there we go. And that's where we stopped, right there. So yeah, we're going to get going on this. And I'm going to do this because it's a little bit easier. Very nice. Awesome. So we're going to get this done. <laughs> In the meantime, while I'm working on this, I want to tell you all a story. So as you guys should know, those of you who um, watch this series a little bit here, um, and also if you're on any of the communities I am on, you'll know that I am going on vacation pretty soon. And now this vacation has been a long time coming. I haven't been on a vacation like where I actually left the state and, you know, did stuff like that. <laughs> where there's no work or anything in over a year. And uh, yeah, so I have been really just kind of hankering to, to go and just go somewhere. So this year, Fade and I, we're headed off to Yellowstone. And it's been a couple years since we have been there. And uh, I just know that after I've been away for, for too long, I just, I, I have to get back. And I think it's just because Yellowstone is just so amazing and enchanting. I mean, where else in the U.S. where you can go and see hundreds of geysers and hot springs and pools and uh, fumaroles and just the different basins and actually literally walk inside a volcanic caldera? I mean, that's just not something everyone does every day. <laughs> so, yeah, it is kind of amazing. And, uh, wow, that didn't go as far as I... That went a lot farther than I thought it would. Amazing. Okay, well, we'll put you back together. And that's fine. Sweet. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to save the rest of this for the roof. And I'm still not sure exactly what the roof is going to be. But this, I'm pretty sure, is, yeah, it's dark oak. And we need dark oak. Oops. It also looks like there's going to be a basement under here. I might have to figure something out to do with that. So, but yeah, so I know what I'm getting. I'm getting some dark oak so I can make some dark oak slabs and we can do the floor. Bloop. <laughs> All right, perfect. Okay, so uh, if I recall, it takes a lot of apples. So, yes, I need dark oak. And I kind of just want to do half and see how far I get because you just... You just don't know. I mean, this may be more than enough. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope this is more than enough. But I'll have this in the meantime. Okay, let's go. Oh, dear. Okay, we're going to sleep. Ah, ah, ah. Jeez, that's nightmare stuff right there. Nightmares. Hello, cow. <laughs> Betsy. All right, so back up we go. And um, yeah, so um, one of the things that when I first went to Yellowstone, first of all, that's where uh, Fate and I went. We went on our honeymoon and we went camping. And uh, well, we went camping for one night specifically. And <laughs> yeah, that was, that was something I can tell you right now. Oh my gosh. And yeah, we're going to need to light this up down here too, aren't we? Uh, yeah, so um, when we went, uh, this was a number of years ago, uh, let's just say that a Yellowstone had the coldest nights in all season for that time of year, which was uh, really kind of crazy because, uh, well, the first thing we did, okay, so we drive to Yellowstone. It's like 22 to 24 hours drive and that's if you don't stop <laughs> for us to get there but we like driving because we like going through uh, the different places and I need more torches hmm hmm so we like going through the different places and that sort of thing and yeah let's uh let's let's take some torches out of here okay yeah yeah this will work okay let's do that and that no that Come on, I need you torches. And hello. Thank you. Anyways, so um, yeah, it took us the first time uh, two and a half days just because we stopped more than what we would stop now normally. 
which is, you know, that's fine. It was our first time uh, together driving it. It was my first time. So that was really exciting, actually. And, um, oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see. Can I get back up here? Okay. Okay. We're good. <laughs> I should really put something under there. Uh, but anyways, so, yeah, we ended up arriving um, like, oh, it was, it was late. It was very late. And I remember it was raining. Oh, which was hilarious. Okay. There, that's good. And, um, it rained like the last little bit when we were there. So what we did, <laughs> and this was pretty cool and, and stuff, but, um, we actually didn't have a hotel because we got there a day earlier than what I had originally anticipated. So instead, <laughs> we ended up um, sleeping in the car. Uh, we looked for somewhere to stay, and you know, we couldn't. And what all of the uh, the places where we went mentioned, like, yeah, you should go back up to Livingston, or go back to Bozeman. There's there's some places there. And I'm thinking, okay, Livingston and Bozeman, that's how many miles away? And we literally just came from there. Um, by the time we drove up there to go sleep, we'd have to drive, turn around and come back. Uh, so instead, we stayed in the car, which, by the way, is a horrible idea. Uh, it's not recommended, but, you know, we were young, still young. But, you know, ended up saving some money, but we did not sleep hardly worth a wink. And it was chilly but not as bad as the next night. So uh, the good thing about this experience was was that we actually got to, um, I got to see the Milky Way galaxy. Now in a city, and granted I don't live in a huge massive city like LA or New York City or Nashville or <laughs> you know Fort Dodge, Fort Worth, anything like that, but um, you know it's, it's enough where there's enough lights where you can't really see uh, much of the constellations other than like Orion, Big Dipper, Little Dipper, Cassiopeia, and that's pretty much it most of the time. In town, granted, in town. And so even out of town, there's still enough lights around the fields and such that, you know. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, a wall's going here. Good deal. Um, that you really can't, you can't tell. So, uh, yeah, I have never, ever, ever seen that many stars, and it was beautiful. I mean, the only lights were around um, the little town that we were in, and, yeah, let's just say when we had to, like, get up and use the facilities, um, we couldn't exactly go into a nearby hotel or anything, especially after they just told us to go somewhere else. So uh, we ended up walking around to some of the, uh, the outdoor ones. Now, keep in mind, this is my first time to Yellowstone. I had no idea how close the thermal features were. No idea. And, uh, and actually, for the longest time, I didn't know how close we were. Um, but I could smell it. <laughs> you got the lovely sulfur and smell of rotten eggs. And yeah, so I knew. And it was quite funny because Fade was a little bit nervous because at one point I kind of slipped off the road and into the, the ditch just a little bit just because, you know, it was dark and I couldn't see what, what I was doing and, and that sort of thing. I'm going to need all these, aren't I? That's okay. That'll work. We'll just do that. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, didn't find out how... how concerning that was until later, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, it's part of the adventure. Uh, but I mean, there are so many stars that I had trouble seeing the constellations that I was familiar with. And that was just amazing to me, amazing. So even though we ended up sleeping, and we ended up sleeping in the car, it was still an awesome night. Also, uh, Fade was kind enough to have the cooler behind his seat, so he didn't get to recline, <laughs> which is too bad. I mean, it made it for a longer night. I don't think he slept at all. But I believe it was around, oh, 
I think four in the morning, we were like, okay, we give up. We're, we're not going to sleep anymore. I mean, there's, we're already really not sleeping. Uh, so we decided to, to drive. And driving at Yellowstone in night is kind of eerie because, you know, in cities and stuff, there's streetlights or lamps or houses that, that have, um, you know, lights on. Oh, what are you doing? And so it, what was weird was that there was, there was nothing. Yellowstone is not a built-up national park. It is wild. And the only places that are built up are places like Mammoth or Old Faithful area or Roosevelt Canyon. And, I mean, otherwise, it's, there's nothing there. I mean, you have um, permanent outhouses, uh, you know, at the, the thermal features, uh, if they're not at the places where there's like a lodge <laughs> or restaurant. I mean, it's, yeah, there is an interchange in there, which, you know, it's, I, I understand why it's there because it does get busy. I don't like it, but, you know, it is what it is. But it's just, oh, wow, amazing. So we drove, and we drove for three hours because the speed limit in the park at points is no faster than 45 miles an hour. And that's on the sides where it's not a mountain cliff on one side. <laughs> like straight down. I mean, you have to go like 10 feet off the road before it goes into a cliff. So, I mean, those are the safer routes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then, um, but we went around. We actually passed someone moving their boat through the park, which this boat was so wide, and could not imagine them getting that monster thing through some of the twists and turns on some of the, uh, the canyons. <laughs> it was just insane. But anyway, one thing I really liked about driving there at night was, other than the fact that there was, like, no traffic, um, or hardly any traffic was the fact that when the sun started coming up and it became dusk is it was it was like pitch blackness and then it got gray and it was like everything was in black and white and and then slowly the color came and you could see off of some of the rivers like Firehole River, Gibbon River uh, the rivers with a whole bunch of features on it, they're actually misting and steaming from all the activity. And it just wafted up into the sky, and the sunlight reflected off the little dewdrops in the vapor. And honestly, it's, it's so beautiful and so unique, and there's no other place like it in the U.S. And so, I mean, that... That is why that I absolutely love going there. It is a treat and gorgeous. And honestly, I just, I couldn't think of a better place to go out <laughs> and to, uh, to have fun. So uh, that was my first impression of Yellowstone. And as I mentioned earlier when I said I didn't know how close I came to the thermal features, that wasn't until I went back to that area because we drove three hours and then we didn't arrive back until a week and a half later to that same area. Oops, I need to sleep. Come on. Hello, little creeper friend. <laughs> so when we finally made our way back to the park, um, to where we were, it was like, oh, wow, I didn't know. It was literally, they were right up next to the, um, uh, the road. Like, not even one foot off the road. <laughs> was where um, the runoff would go to, to the hot springs. And it was just so amazing, and they were so beautiful. And I just, and the colors, it's, it's, it's just awesome. But, you know, I will remark on the colors and the bacterial mats and, um, you know, just my favorite features of Yellowstone in a later episode here, uh, just because, you know, it's just... <laughs> There's so much to tell because there's so much to see there and so much to do, and it's all nature. And you know, when when I first saw my first geyser go off, wow, wow, it was amazing. And then just fade, us uh, having just along for the ride. I mean, he's been to Yellowstone so many times, 
uh, over two dozen times at this point because that's his family's favorite destination. And so he got to see Yellowstone through the eyes of someone who has not ever seen it. And so that was a treat for him, too. And he really enjoyed that, enjoyed showing me around. And uh, yeah, I think I wore out my, my camera battery in the first hour. Um, <laughs> so many pictures I took. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, this up here. I am almost done, which is super nice. And uh, yeah, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Everyone, look at that. Hey, I finished the floor. And uh, actually, <laughs> I have also finished, well, not finished, but mostly finished the clay that goes around on the floor here, which is nice. And then I just have to match this now to get this all the way across on those two sides. So yeah, it is certainly coming along. So I am super excited about that. So when I'm done, I'll just have to do those paper thingies all the way down across on both sides here, which uh, I'm looking forward to. But hey, everybody, that does it for the episode here for me today. So if you liked what you saw, please smack that like button. Be sure to subscribe because it totally helps out our channel. Make sure to check out, see what Fade Alchemist is doing on his side of the channel. Check out our Twitter at RogueAlchemist underscore. And you know what? I will see you all in the next episode of muscle bye oh no stop doing it sassy no <laughs>